Okay, Lou, let me show you how, and everyone else, of course, how easily um, you can ink these backing papers and a um, couple of little tips and tricks. So if we look on this one here, we're going to work on the B. So um, we've got a really cool paper as it is. Lose it, use it as it is, but we're going to apply some colour. So as usual, I would always say apply the lightest colour first. So I'm going to say that the sunflower, let's, let's do a yellow sunflower. Now, Mustard seed is one of the strongest uh, colours in the whole of the Distress Ink line. This, is, this stuff is like, it's there. It is not subtle, a bit like myself. So what I'm going to do, a uh, big tip, get yourself some glycerin. If you haven't got any yet, get your local chemist. It's cheaper than the one that you get in the food aisle. You can get it online. It's just food grade glycerin. It doesn't have an aroma. It doesn't... Um, it's non-toxic and it's in fact it was originally in a lot of um a lot of hand creams and things i didn't realize that you know when i was young used to get like you know the you know the one that was the ding dong and used to like um you know at the cosmetics that used to come to the door and they were calling if you know who i mean i could probably just say because we're not on the telly avon calling yes they used to have a, um, a rose and glycerin hand cream i don't know if you can still get it let me know if you can. But yeah, it's that same stuff that's in there. Use it in cake decorating and things like that if it's the food grade one. But what it does, the glycerin, is it dilutes the colour down. See where it's more... It, think of it, if you were using a watercolour, you would use water. But with this technique, water would just make it soak straight into the cord and it wouldn't move around and that wouldn't be a good thing. So what glycerin does, it's, um, it slows the drying process down. It makes the ink thicker and it's kind of, it's like as if it's oiling the cord. It moves it across the surface much in a much freer fashion. So you can see how cool that is, that's colour there. We can put a little bit of that orange into the base of the petals to give it a little bit of contouring even, a little bit like that. Yeah, right, that's the sunflower done, sorted. That Don't go too heavy on the colour because you want it to look a little bit, um, you know, you still want to see the pattern through, which is why I like to use the um, the regular distress inks rather than the oxides, because oxides are more opaque than regular distress inks. And you, um, you know, you won't show, won't show what's going on underneath as well. So I'm using some of the, um, rust, no, I'm using spice marmalade on these little bees. Now, I'm not as worried about the wings because I'm going to show you it even flow, flow bleaches really well. So we've got that done there. We'll create a, a background and we might, let's use a little bit of full on colour here with a crushed olive. Again, because it's a background, I'm using a little bit of glycerin. Now, if you're worried about your distress inks, splodge them onto your mat before you, um, you use the, instead of taking the applicator to your distress inks, splodge just, just the um, ink to the mat and then, uh, put it on your applicator or put some ink on and then pick up the glycerin. Um, I have never had any problems with um, it diluting the inks or anything. So now what I'm doing is I'm going around with the, um, with the, which one is the crushed olive. Quite a, um, a bright green this one. So I'm thinking if we make it lighter in the middle, a little bit zingy in the middle, and then we'll go around darker around the outside. Now, it, it's if it's looking a bit patchy i've done that that's in the layering it's meant to look a bit patchy you can blend it out a little bit more if you want it smoother but that's been in the the levels that i've put in there to make it look you'll see there's kind of like darker bits and lighter bits so that if you want to just leave it that's all good too and i'm going to now pop a little bit of crushed olive now this is a darker green around the outside so it's giving that impression of a very close-up image of these cute little bees doing their thing, all busy with this gorgeous sunflower. And when you get more ink on, as, as you know with any card, it becomes more um, easy to blend. So, you see, I haven't had to add glycerin every time. If you don't overdo it, what will happen is if you just keep putting too much glycerin it is on, is it'll take ages to dry. So, um, you know, and it'll come, it'll become a bit shiny. It will dry eventually, but you don't need that much on. Just know when to cease and desist. Just, you know, step back from the glycerin, walk away, and it'll be fine. So we've got that going on there. And then if you want to bring in a little bit more harmony in with the whole thing, we'll be adding a little bit more orangey bits in there, sort of warm it up a little bit. Have a look and see what you think. See if you want a little bit more texture going on in the background. 
little bit less texture if you want it um, a little bit more blended then you can go with just a little bit of glycerin and that often starts to take the colour and blend it and smush it in um, for you if it's a little bit static looking so we've got that there I'm pretty much happy with that I think what I would do is I create a little bit of a darker border um, don't I think I had blue on this card first just to give it that vignette remember if you're going to trim this down to put on a card I would trim it then do your vignette around the outside because you're going to trim away a lot of this darkened area here but just so you know I mean it's a it's kind of an old school technique and look to do you know I did what this when I was at Ranger many years ago when I was in New Jersey um, learning firsthand how to use these products with Tim Holtz in the room um, for two days it was a rather good thing they do it was their part of their Ranger U program um, I don't think they still they don't run that now but it was great because you get instead of Chinese whispers you know exactly why and because I'm one of those people that I want to know why why is it doing that why do I want it don't just tell me it's good I want to know why it's good so that's what I, I do try to do for you. So you can see how now we've got that vignette looking around the outside. And we've used a lot of ink on this. And this, this is holding up. This paper is holding up. Thin card isn't, you know, it, it's standard. It's, it's up to the task. Now the next thing you can do is you can take a little brush. Uh-oh, don't know where my paper is. I'll use this bit here. Hang on. Got some paper here. And you can take a brush and you see where the wings are We've lost a little bit of the wings. Pop that on there. Just agitate it a little bit and then blot it and you lift a lot of the colour. See how that's lifted that a lot there. Certain colours always full bleach better than others, but um, you'll definitely be able to lift it. You can see it's so don't scrub the surface off the colour, just a little bit, just to encourage it. And then you've got his little wings back there and we've lost one. Oh, actually we can do a little bit of that in the background as well if you want to do a little bit of water droplets. But we've got so much to show you. This is seriously not even scratched the surface of what you can do with this set, this range. I could go on for, I could probably do a whole month, but Lou would be like, you know, well, probably bless her begging for release and trying to form an escape committee if that was the case. And understandably so. You know, fair's 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 fair. So there's his wings back in there. And we'll pop a little bit more on that one and we'll call that done with the layering. We'll do more tutorials, more, more things with the stencils and layer, but I wanted to just show you how you can ink that up. Um, a little bit of glycerin is gonna help you, but from that monochrome, but cool background to full on full pop color. Thank you.